Hello, Cortland Starrett here of One Fact and a member of the XTUML Days 2020 Conference Committee. And I have for you today uh, practical instructions for our speakers and presenters who will be uh, sharing at XTUML Days in, uh, in November. We have such a large and uh, uh, full um, speaker list that we need to be efficient with the way that we um, present. And so I just have some practical ideas uh, to share with you in this presentation. First, I'll talk about the presentation sequence, just the way that your presentation will be uh, put together. Uh, some some uh, advice as you prepare your actual slide presentation um, and then preparing to record it. Uh, and then the actual recording and some closing notes. Now the present presentation sequence includes your face being um, visible at all times. So much information is communicated through our faces. And with this being uh, a partly virtual conference, it's important to have that personal uh, um, interaction in place. And uh, so you will introduce yourself in full face mode as I did uh, at the beginning of this presentation. And then you'll switch to sharing your slide presentation and you'll have a small face up in the corner like I have here, although I've made it a little bit bigger. Uh, at the end of the presentation, I'll come back to full face and I would like you to do that in your presentations uh, to um, invite questions and to bid farewell to your uh, speakers. Now, in preparing your presentation, uh, we need widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio and reserve uh, some space in the corner of all your slides so that your talking face can be up uh, there in the corner. And as part of connecting with our audience, uh, include questions in the middle of your presentation uh, that we can then solicit responses and people watching remotely can type in the, uh, in the live stream and give answers. For example, uh, who was your first OOA teacher and is that person present uh, at this conference? And since we're going to be compressing our presentations quite a bit, be sure to include links to references and additional material, uh, perhaps toward the end of your presentation. Now, when you're preparing to record, we need good sound. Uh, in a recorded presentation, sound is of the utmost importance. So record in a perfectly quiet location, test out different microphones. If your PC microphone is not so good, although I have found that the most important part is having a quiet room that, does, that has good acoustics. And so if you need to put blankets and pillows around uh, to uh, soften those hard surfaces, that helps. Now, the next thing when you're preparing to record is to have pleasant video. And the first step there is having your camera up high at eye level. We don't want to be looking uh, from, from below. And have your face fairly close to the camera. Most of the information when you're talking is, is going to be coming from the expression in your, in your eyes and, and from your face. Uh, even though you'll need to look at your screen, try to look at the camera as much as you can to connect with that audience. You're going to need to shine an uncomfortably large amount of light in your face and make sure there's no light shining in from, from behind to reverse expose uh, the image. And whatever's in the background, make it pleasant and non-distracting. I have a blanket hanging um, behind me and I'll show you my uh, my setup with just a, I took a little recording of my desk, see how I've placed my PC up on a box. I've got a window with natural light coming in from one side, but even so, I've got a halogen light shining right in my face. And looking behind me, you can see that I've simply hung a blanket up behind my desk to reduce any uh, distractions um, from, from behind. Uh, here's some recording links, some tools to, to uh, help you do uh, screen recordings. Now, when you are recording, um, run Zoom and start recording, and the opening remarks will be in full face mode. 
and then switch to sharing your presentation and then zoom will default to have your face in the corner very very small so you might stretch that out make it a little bigger so that uh, again that good communication comes um, out from your face uh, play your slides video while you narrate colorfully uh, at the end stop sharing and come back to full face mode uh, and invite the Q&A. Uh, closing notes is you need to submit your recording by September 30th. That gives you basically the month of September uh, to prepare this. And the XTML Days Conference Committee is here to help. If you need production help, if you need video editing, uh, have questions, just contact us. And if you are an expert at this type of, uh, of um, presentation and recording, you know, employ whatever techniques uh, that, um, that you're good at. Thank you so much for uh, participating and being involved in the XTML Days uh, uh, 2020 UK slash uh, virtual. And uh, I'll see you online uh, or in Portsmouth in November. Thank you very much.